Hello, hello, and welcome to Connect In. Connect In is a weekly broadcast. All the amazing reasons why it's important to get out of our head and back into our body. It, it's kind of like a weekly reminder of stepping back into your power. What I like to do is go ahead and light a candle. It helps me. You may have your own other way, but it helps me just to know that I am now entering what I like to call sacred space, space where it gives my body, mind, spirit signals that we're coming out of this head of ours and then back down into our body where now I can begin to listen to my heart and intuition. It is the ritual that you do to get out of your head and back into your heart. Um, but what's important is that we do it. And we do it more now than ever because, you know, life is just a wild roller coaster of ups and downs. And it's important that we stay super centered in ourselves. Okay. So now to exciting news. So pause what you're doing for a minute and listen to this. A couple weeks ago, I shared a super shield exercise all across social media. And um, it was met with such enthusiasm and such excitement that I started thinking, what if we did that very simple exercise every day as community? Because I believe when we do things as community, right? Uh, we get to hold ourselves to the process a little bit more. And we actually are kind of tapping into the energetics of a group. So it's like, you know, it's like uh, going, since I used a roller coaster analogy, like doing a roller coaster ride by yourself is, eh, it's okay. Doing it with a group, it's like, wow. Anyway, so what I've put together is a free 21-day challenge that starts on December 26th. And it is called Get Your Pep Back. Pep being your personal energetic protection system. <laughs> and so for 21 days, we are going to, um, via our the Shine On community Facebook group, come together and do this challenge together. I really think it's going to be a game changer. It's going to be a game changer for how we move into 2022. So before I even go any further, I am going to invite you all to um, look at the liner notes that are going to show up in a little bit. Uh, go over to any of my social media extravaganzas, uh, Instagram, Domini Celebrity, um, Twitter, Domini Celebrity, Facebook, it's Domini Celebrity Shine On is the business page. So go there, join us. It really is five minutes a day. You get... Uh, audio meditation and a little mini journal plus you're all part of the community and um, I think it's going to be I said this already a game changer more and more over the past two years I was listening to NPR the other day and they were talking about how we're stepping into the third year of a pandemic and I was like what how can this be but what's true about all of this is many of us are, um, once we stopped freaking out, started thinking, God, what do I really want to do with my life? What is essential for my heart, right? And because there is just so much flux out there in our personal universes, our worldwide universe, more than ever, we need to really keep coming back to ourselves for guidance, for power, for internal, like accessing our own internal power. Yeah, does that ring true for you all? Mm hmm So I like to talk a little bit. So anyway, get your pet back challenge. Please join us. Here's the deal. It's free. Share it with your friends. Share it with your peeps. Share it with your clients and your patients and your parents and your children. The more that we as a world can come back and take sovereignty of our own selves, the better 
<laughs> the better we're all gonna be, right? Personal responsibility. First, starting with our personal shield. So what is it, what, why do we need to be protected, right? Um, a really wonderful example, um, many of you might know this, but I'm also a five element acupuncturist. So it's, that is a very Taoist based type of acupuncture. And so Taoism really is about kind of looking inside and making yourself the best possible you, hence brightest best self, right? But also in Chinese medicine, there's a lot of conversation about how to stay filled up with yourself. And I promise this is not a Chinese medicine conversation. But what I really love and what I want to share with you all is when we are filled up with ourselves, nothing gets in but love. Right? And um, in acupuncture theory, that goes down to... Um, other people's energies, other places' energies, and actually even down to viruses, uh, bugs, all those kind of things. And we all know this to be true, right? When we are stressed, okay, raise your hand if you're stressed. I am. Do a little emoji con, heart, double hat, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. But when we are stressed, we tend to use up more energy than, than we need to, right? And, and we know this. It's like you're stressed, you're percolating, you're processing, you're whirling and twirling, and you're all up in your head, right? Uh, which means we're kind of just like bobbleheads walking around. And when all our energy is up in our head, we're not fully inhabiting our body. Uh, which means we start bumping into things. I mean, we've all had this experience, right? But when we are stressed, um, we also know that we are more susceptible to colds. We are more susceptible to people's bad moods. We are more susceptible to losing our center and kind of getting waylaid by other people. You may notice this when you're at the office. Like if you are feeling vulnerable, you're not, you're not really gonna raise your hand and say, I have this great idea, right? You're gonna kind of be more of a doormat. If you are in a situation where somebody is just a bit more boisterous or even more dominant than you, when you are not filled up with yourself, you know, that person can bamboozle you, can overtake you, can really have you make a choice that maybe wasn't in your best interest. Like, uh, like, sorry, technology just threw me away. You know, like, yeah, I'll work on weekends, sure. <laughs> you know, not the best decision for you. So when we are filled up with ourselves, nothing gets in but love. When we kind of fill up with ourselves, we actually fill up and create this super shield around us, this vibrational, energetic protection. Some people call that a blue egg, a golden egg. I call it the super shield or your PEP, right? And when we are in ourselves, we're like Teflon. And those of you who don't know like what Teflon is, just think about nonstick. All the bullshit that gets thrown our way kind of just bounces off us and slides off. Now, who wouldn't want that? Right? Those of you listening on wisdom, like, like, wouldn't you really want to be fully sovereign with yourself? Those of you watching on Facebook or watching it some other time via a recording, take a moment and just think, yes, I want to be filled up with myself. So not only when we are filled up and have our super shield or our personal energy protection kind of engaged, 
not only are we like Teflon, but we actually get less anxious. Okay, because we're in ourselves more. And we also get kind of more empowered in our choices, in our processes, right? Which allows more ease, more flow in your life. And right, let's just think about this. Protection, Teflon, ease, flow, and the only thing that gets in is love. Okay, let's give a woohoo! Right? I mean, how amazing would it be to go through life like that? That is why the Super Shield Challenge, the Get Your Pep Back Challenge, is really, really important for me to share. Right? And um, I really do think it's going to be a game changer. And I'll put it in the liner notes as well. But you can also just check out DaniniCelebrity.com or any of my social media. Uh, uh, extravaganzas to find that link. So let's take you through a really short experience of connecting in to your body. You're getting it, getting you out of your head, into your body, having you have the experience of what it feels like to be filled up with yourself. So we're going to do a mini PEP exercise. You ready? Okay, if you're listening and driving, I'm going to recommend that you really do keep your hands on the wheel and eyes forward, but you can listen to this and replay this recording at some other time. For the rest of you, just take a moment, feel the weight of your body on the earth. So your butt on the chair, your feet on the ground, and breathe, <laughs> right? Just allow your breath to come in, breath to belly to feet. Yeah, notice how that just shifted your energy. You kind of settle back into yourself. Right. Now place your hands on your heart. Feel the rising and falling of your chest. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel the warmth of you just coming back to you. Now imagine that in your heart is this beautiful glowing light. And as you bring your awareness and attention to it, it gets brighter. Invite that light to fill up your entire body. So you are golden from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Fill up all those nooks and crannies. You are filled up. So this is a really short experience of starting to come back into yourself and filling up with your goodness. The PEP challenge goes into a little bit more detail, but for now, just notice how you feel in your body. You know, the beauty is when you're connected to yourself, you're actually connected to your potential of love, of joy, of a deep sense of happiness, and really, isn't that what life is really all about? That being said, my loves, this is the invitation for you to move into 2022 in a whole new way. It's like sovereign, right? Fully in yourself. Put your crown on. Walk into 2022 saying, the only thing that is going to get in is love. And I am now in my own power and strength and beauty. So, the PEP challenge, Get Your Pet Back challenge, starts on December 22nd. I would love to connect with each and every one of you there. Please share it with your friends. The liner notes are below, or you can go to DaniniCelebrity.com. Until then, practice that little short exercise. Get your power back. Put your super shield on. Move into 2022 as the amazing, bright being that you are. Mwah. Thanks for watching.